Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, personal growth, especially from the areas of communication, motivation, and success. In today's episode, it will be a continuation of last week's episode where I share on the series of how you can utilize 2022 energies of the young water tiger in terms of profile influence to understand and have an insight of the kind of skill sets that you should be picking up in this new year. And in today's episode, I'll be focusing for those born on the day of fire element. If you have missed last week's episode where I share about how basically the annual influence in terms of profile, the 10 year luck cycle, as well as how this will help you in building your true innate passion and motivation and talent, especially from your base profile perspective, please remember to click on this link where I share more. And if you are interested, as quite a few of my clients has indicated on an annual personalized 2022 blueprint for success report based on your Ba Zi and Feng Shui, please remember to click on the link here or go to the video description so that you can understand how you can get this report. So without further ado, let's move on to today's episode where I'll share more about what is in store for those born on the day of fire. See you in the next segment. Hi, if you have not downloaded your Pazza chart before and do not know the day that you are born on, please go ahead to bazicalculator.janetyog.com, the link that is shown here or the QR code to download your Pazza chart before we begin. And for the sake of those who are new to this particular channel, let me just explain to you what we are looking at for this particular episode. What we are looking at is looking at the day that you are born, the influence of the year's energies and the kind of skill sets that you should be picking up based on personal growth so that we can move and grow in the longer term. So in this particular case, what we are looking at is the day element that is circled in red here in this parts chart and what we will then look at is based on the year of the young water tiger the elements within the young water tiger chart what is its influence and therefore the kind of profile influence and skill sets that you should be picking up for this new year for today we'll go ahead and look at for those born on the day of fire and as mentioned earlier, if you have missed the previous episode where I discussed about how the annual influences stack up to your 10 year luck pillar profile influence and then move ahead and help you to move towards your innate and most passionate talent. If you like to know more, please remember to go to the video description and watch last week's episode where I share that just before I share for the profile influence for those born on the day of wood. So let's take a look at the first half influence of young water on those born on the day of young fire. Now that is basically a process orientation influence. And as I mentioned previously, the process influence, it's usually teaching you about structure, about systems. How do you take step one, moving on to step two and step three. However, for those born on the day of young fire this year, it is really that of the warrior profile influence. Now warrior, as the name suggests, it generally represents having to basically overcome challenges, solve problems. So if you are someone who prefers not to face challenges and obstacles heads on, you may find it a little bit challenging this year. And that's one of the reasons why in the Chinese traditional term, the Ba Zi term is called seven killings. It sounds scary, but if you look at it and face it head on as a skill set that you need to pick up in terms of project management and problem solving, then it would not be too big of an issue. However, if you are very strong base profile influence as in when you got your Ba Zi career profiling report, you had it highlighted in red, then you need to be a bit watchful such that you do not become overly suspicious and therefore cause problems when working with people or challenging people around you. The second half of 2022 then has that of the analysis influence itself. 
So if you're looking at analysis orientation, generally it's basically taking a step back and understanding the big situation. So in this particular case itself, for those born on the day of young fire, after probably what we call fighting war in the first half of the year, you will be taking a step back in the second half of this year and looking at the overall picture as to where this is going and how you can look at the bigger trends and how you can maximize any opportunities or wealth for yourself. So this is a great year if you view from the perspective of after you handle some challenges and obstacles in the first half of the year, second half of the year, you are basically taking a step back and understanding the bigger situation before you move forward. So that's for those born on the day of young fire. What about those born on the day of yin fire? Now in fire, the good news is in traditional parts when I see the diplomat profile and if someone asks me whether they would have a chance to get a new job opportunity that's when these profiles appearance basically brings you recognition and therefore the chances of getting that job that you want or that role that you're aiming for would be there of course with the process orientation it also means that if you do take on this new role and responsibility it's for you to really understand within the structure and system itself how do you implement and get recognized so that's why it's called the process profile then the second half for those born on on the day of yin fire would have the analysis orientation influence but this one is more of the analyzer profile what's the difference between the philosopher for those born on the day of yang fire and analyzer for those born on the day of yin fire analyzer is really looking at more into details so sometimes what it entails is for you to probably go into deeper research and understand the subject matter or go for causes to basically upskill yourself in order for you to fulfill your new founded roles and responsibilities so that's the analyzer however if you already have a very high profile influence in terms of analyzer as a base profile or an obvious profile based on my JYPQ chart that means it's highlighted in red then you need to be a little bit aware and not go into analysis paralysis because when you have that most times you will be researching and thinking and may not be able to implement the things so when feedback comes back to you it is crucial for you to then just do it after you have already done your analysis on the pros and cons take calculated risk and don't just analyze and over analyze the situation such that you cannot move forward this is basically the end of today's episode i'll share with you the profile influences for those born on the day of earth next week and if you are interested please remember to click on this link to get to your 2022 personalized parts and feng shui blueprint report for success and for those who have indicated that they are interested to understand Ba Zi from a foundation perspective or Ba Zi for career and wealth such that they can apply for themselves, their family members or start moving towards the additional stream of income as a consultant or coach, I have just launched two new courses called the Ba Zi Foundation course as well as the Ba Zi for career and wealth course. So I hope to see you in my community on the online learning else i'll see you next week in my channel when i share for those born on the day of earth what are the influences that are coming into their chart see you next week goodbye